<laughs> well, I think I'm gonna pull this one in and play with it for a little while. See what it can do. Looks like somebody's done some stuff to it, but I don't know how much or what. So it's got a little bit of rot, but not too terrible. Pretty typical. Oh, that's frozen. It's got the flathead eight in it still. I think the motor's stuck, but I'm gonna try to knock it loose. All the tires hold air, so that's a win. We got the seat, but no bottom. A lot of the floors have been patched, or some of it has. A little poorly, but that still works. It'll be fine. But uh, yeah, let's see if we can get this sucker to run. Be nice, be cool if I get it to run and drive. That's kind of my goal, get a run, drive, stop. Make it a nice project for somebody. I don't think I'm gonna build it too much further than that, but uh, first steps first, I got the uh, tractor plugged in and I'm uh, gonna see, push her into the shop, let her on thaw and see how bad, let's assess it and see how bad it is. Uh, there's a good chance it's stuck, but I'm gonna try to pickle it and see if we can get her loose. Anyways, wait for the tractor to war tractor to warm up and uh, we'll push her into the shop. Okie doke. So we got the car in, put the breaker bar to the crank, and as expected, it's stuck. <clears throat> so not a big deal. We'll figure it out. Uh, looked inside the cylinders, but don't see much because all you're going to see is the valves. So I don't know if we have a stuck valve or it's a piston. Uh, no real way of testing that. I guess we could pull the cover off and see if we can individually pop all the lifters, but eh, not too worried at this point. I will pickle it and see if something frees up. Because usually if you had a stuck valve, you'd have a little bit of movement. But uh, I'm sure it's just a piston stuck. So, I don't know. I just got some of that. Sprayed that in there. We'll let her sit for a while. Uh, I may still just throw a battery in. Do the old clickeroo with the key. See if she'll actually, you know, wait for the anticipated dead thud. You never know. Sometimes they break loose, but I'm gonna let this sit for a little while I mean, the oil is good all that stuff. So well, I shouldn't say it's good But there's oil in it and it's full uh, Somebody may have tried pickling this before I'm not sure Because uh, not all the plugs were tight. Everything was kind of loose. I'm missing the coil You know, it's got like a lot of the typical bad things that ever happened to him. You can see there's some uh, 
goop on the block, so that's telling me that the block is probably frozen once. But, hey, we should try to get her going anyways, right? See if it works. Even if this needs to be a candidate for a motor swap or something, not a biggie. Be cool to rock that one, see if it works. We could always fix that. The rest of the car is not bad. I mean, I've had a fastback before like this, but I had, uh, I put a Camaro clip in it with a small block Chevy. And then did a bunch, bunch of interior stuff. But it was a Chevy, it wasn't a Pontiac. So, typical interior. Kind of turned it out a little bit, but the seat's not bad. At least the front one, even though there's no bottom. But we can steal that from one of our parts seat. The back is, well, it's junk, but not completely junk. She's usable. Typical floor rot. Like this side's not bad. Somebody's put a bunch of effort into it. I don't know what it looks like underneath. I think the body boxes weren't bad. That's kind of why I was interested in it. And no key there, but we do have another key. So I'm guessing that was the intent was to swap it. What else we got? We'll have to put it up on the lift and see how she is, but it's typical. Nice. Nice little flux core patch. That's not bad. <laughs> See, it's not terrible. It's pretty good. It's all pretty easy stuff. I mean, granted, it's probably rotten under there. That's they always rot in there, but if the screws are still in there, there should be something, eh? Got the letter on thaw. Have a better look at her. See this one? Not terrible. That is 100% what I expected. It would be like looking like that, but see, nothing holding her together there. Cool. I could have drove. Oh, that door is a little stuck. She's a little frozen yet. I'll have to wait till she unthaws to get into anything. Well, that one I might have. I just need a a key. I need a key for it. Which way does she go? Hmm. I think everything's a little frozen. Eh. I'll let her on thaw and then we'll have a better look at her. Maybe I'll get her up on the hoist, see what she looks like underneath. Okay. We've been pickling. This is day one. I really don't think so. Oops. Definitely likes to make that bolt loose, eh? Okay. More pickling. So, this one I tried, starter did the old click and clunk and stuck. It's stuck now. So I don't know if the starter itself is stuck and that's why I can't turn it. But in the midst of doing that, I realized I've been pickling this motor and it's, if you see in the early part of the video here, this was all dry and this is actually getting really wet now. So, I then grabbed the wrench for the heck of it to see and it turns out like half the bolts on the head are loose so I don't know if somebody's had this apart I'm kind of got a feeling that it is because they're only hand tight so that's not a good sign <laughs> so I'm guessing what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull all the bolts out and let's pull the head off because clearly somebody's been in there and monkeying around with stuff so I'm gonna pull all the bolts out I'll pull the head off we'll have a better look at what the uh piston scenario is there's a good chance it's a copper gasket on here so that's not bad because we can reuse it hopefully uh but anyways basically you gotta i'll just pull the head and we'll have a look why not right 
seeing how everything else, they must have been, like I say, it must have been taken apart because this was missed. You know, all this stuff is it's just weird. There's a lot of weirdness, and I don't know any history on the car. So if these are loose, let's take them apart and let's see what's going on. Day two. Wheel. We threw a battery in here. I'm gonna see. Hmm. She looks stuck. Just want to make sure the starter is not holding her back here. And why this is triggering, I don't have a clue. The solenoid might be shot on the starter. I don't know. We got a lot of not. We got a lot of things not going for us on this one. I'm gonna pull the starter out first though, just to make sure that's not hanging the motor up. Boy, oh boy. Look at this. People complain about uh, modern cars. Can you imagine in the day? Unless I'm missing something. <laughs> you can only get this little wrench in that little spot and do the old half turn. That's crazy. You can't fit a socket on it. So I don't know. That's uh... I can imagine in the 50s, boy. They were complaining at the engineers then. <laughs> There's not really room to get the box end on there. That's just whacked. I thought the Dodges were bad. Seems like all the old cars, the starters were kind of crappy to get at. Anyways, they're going to continue getting that one out. I don't even know what the bottom one's like, but that one should be easier, I would imagine. So, I'll keep uh... I'll keep wrenching. We'll get her out. Well, it didn't look like the starter was stuck, but hey, I'm hopeful. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Nothing different. Okie doke. See how these bolts are loose anyways? Let's pull the head off and see what we got happening under there. We've exhausted everything else. Well, we haven't totally, but seeing how the head bolts are loose already for some reason. Yeah, it's, ah, it's nuts. Ah, wish I knew. Well, there definitely is a rust issue in this cylinder. The other ones don't seem bad. This one, there's just a whole bunch of scaly crud in there and you can see the valve. She's a little ugly. I've actually wiped it out. I had some of that penetrating oil in there. But seeing how the head's off, clearly it has been off. Well, at least the head's been lifted off. Uh, it looks like it's a copper gasket, so... I think if I clean it up, I should be able to reuse it. As weird as that sounds. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> but, there seems to be a little bit of scale, but it seems to come off the walls, so that's not too terrible. I think I just gotta soak this cylinder, and uh, well, I'm gonna blow it off first and get all that crud out. And, uh, Spray some penetrating oil in there. This one's got some bugs in it. That's cool. <laughs> bugs are good for your motor. Okay, well, let me blow that out. Scrape it out a bit. Soak it. At least we got a better idea what's going on here. We definitely have one stuck cylinder. 
So that would make sense why this block was all wet, because you can see it's just seeping out onto the block, whatever I've been spraying in there. So somebody's had it apart. But the block has been buggered, but I think it's been froze. You can see right here, there's like the block heater. Yeah, looks like silicone. It's fine. It's not really under pressure. <laughs> All right, let me scrape that out. So this cylinder had a bunch of crud in it. I just ran my hone through it just to get the garbage off. So it seems pretty good now. So it's still stuck. I'm just for kicks gonna hit it with the torch a little bit. See if uh, that frees it up, unless it is a valve or something that's stuck. It's kind of unorthodox, but I'm trying to speed this up because I got a bad feeling the rest of this motor is kind of junky anyways, so. Let's give it a whirl because I got this one and then this one's just got a whole lot of crud in it But I think that'll all come off. I might just flash a torch over it and it'll just kind of pop everything out of there I don't know never tried this so I'll give it a shot Well, what have we learned? This is one stuck duck. <laughs> well, I guess you go round two or three. I'm not sure where I'm at as far as the uh, pickle in the motor. We gave her a little heat. That didn't want to go. So maybe she's a little deeper in, got some stuckness going on. But hey, I got nothing but time. So. I'll keep mucking with it a little bit every day. Hopefully she'll knock loose. Everything's super wobbly on the motor though, but I don't think anybody's disconnected the motor mounts. I think that's just what they are. Like other things have been disconnected, but eh, I'll keep trying. I wanna save this one. I think it'd be cool. Just rock an old banger. I like them. Why not, eh? Small block and these things are too easy. Anyways, keep pickling it and trying. Day three. Well, seeing how this motor, I think I'm day three soaking. Nothing's really happening. I'm gonna go set her up on the hoist here. I'll lift her up and see what we got going on for brakes and how bad she looks under the car here. So she's not perfectly centered, but I'll just gonna grab my little stands and shuffle her over, square it up, and uh, lift her up and see what she looks like.
Well, this hot rod is not too shabby underneath. Some things are a little worn out, you know, a few little things, not too bad. Uh, like this side doesn't feel too bad. Center link is worn out, so that's kind of normal on these things. And then we got the kingpin, a bushing or something on this side. Haven't taken wheels off, so we don't know brakes yet. But it's got typical rot, but it's actually not terrible. Like the inner rockers overall are pretty good. Uh, body boxes, that's kind of normal. A little rough over here. I don't think there's much point keeping that one on there. That one tends to go up a little high. They do repop this stuff, but a feller can make it in a few pieces. So it's missing the original snaps, but it has the upper parts, which is kind of cool. These aren't terrible, terrible. And they got a little of the same over here. Not too bad there. So, overall, ooh, there's been a bunch of work done here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, somebody put a good effort in. Not bad. Some floor work. So for the most part, the floors are nice. We can look at the upside. <laughs> uh, there's a good chance the fuel tank's going to be bunk. So if I can manage to get this motor loose, I've kind of exhausted everything up top. I mean, other than doing the waiting game. I'm going to try to put a bar in here and just try my darndest to see if I can get this sucker to move. Uh, yeah, I think that's the next step. I noticed a few other things are a little bugger. It's probably why this thing's wiggling so much. This mount is actually broken right there. This one still looks intact on this side, but... Anyways. I don't think anybody's tried taking the motor out. So I think it's just a few, few little broken things. I can't see if there's a mount in there or not. I'm going to keep trying. I'm determined to get this motor loose. Now wait. Back to prying. And that is one stubborn motor. Just crappy. I'm mm. running out of ideas. Mm. Mm. It's turning into a crappy video. <laughs> uh, what a bugger.
is pretty sweet. It looks like it's got all brand new brakes all the way around. So judging by these, this thing's probably a 49. I can't remember when they went the Bendex. So 49.50, but we know that much. Uh, the drums seem rusty, but there's no ridges on none of them. So it's almost, I don't know if they would have been new drums or not, but that's cool. Brake pads look all new. Um, if I'm ordering junk, I might just order some rebuild kits for them just for the heck of it. The hoses seem okay, but they're probably cheap to buy and I'll probably just put some new hoses on just because a feller's got it apart. It would only make sense, right? Yeah, this is a little bit of cracking. Nothing major though. But, should just replace all the brake hoses. We'll get just some rebuilds for the wheel cylinders. Because, I don't know, they might be fine. But, it's not a bad thing to just have on the shelf if I don't use it. I'm always messing around with this stuff. So, But yeah, like these front ones are like a brand new. Like it's even still got the writing on it. Nothing's delaminating. This one, like you say, a lot of paint color on it, so probably good. I don't know if these have been redone or nothing. The back one almost looked like it was leaking. So that's cool. Uh, yeah, just some hoses. Probably, well, I don't know. We'll find out if the brake lines are good or not. Like I say, I have a master. Now, if we can just get this stinking motor loose, that would be the win. The ultimate win. Yeah, I'll just keep pickling it. We'll see what happens. It's got to come loose sooner or later. Day four. I think I've forgotten what day I'm on. I think the last thing I've done is I've stuck WD and some brake fluid for some reason. I don't know. I thought I'd try it in the cylinder and oh, ooh. We have some movement. Well, that's promising. <laughs> We're moving one way. See if we get her to move back. We'll have to do some wiggling. Come on, baby. Yeah. Oh yeah. She's starting to move. I'm starting to wonder if I got a stuck valve model. I'm gonna keep trying. Has a stuck spot. Slow but steady, she's coming. Oh. 
Ooh. Hello? Let's see if we can move it from up top with the breaker bar. See what's going on. You can see how getting close to the top that one is, eh? She's not breaker bar worthy, that's for sure. Nope. But they are moving, so that's what's important. This valve is at least coming up. I guess I'm going to have to keep making some rotations on the crank on the bottom. I was hoping it would move enough that I could deal with that. But with that said, I think I'm going to get the starter back on because I wouldn't mind once I get that thing to do a full rotation, get the starter on it for a couple turns. So. Okie doke. So I got the motor to do a couple rotations by hand. She feels a little, she feels easier, but at least it's turning. And uh, so I've just bolted the starter back on and uh, gonna go find a battery in something here and see if she'll crank over. Cause that'll be half the win if we can do that. Yes, sir. Half the win. Here's the hoping. Here's to hoping. Hmm. I wonder if that starter is broken. So nice stuck, but that's cool. <laughs> awesome. So we got a few stuck valves. Mm, a couple of those won't be happy. I know what to do this time. Oh, that one's starting to go. She's starting. We'll give him the old spray lube. Hmm. I thought that was coming up or it's stuck. Give him the old twist. Sometimes they'll pop that way.
Let the old pour starter cool down. This one started coming. That one not so much yet. We're winning. It's a very crude way to do this, but... <laughs> But she's coming. She's the old heave ho. It looks rough, eh? That's not for me. <laughs> ah, let's see what happens, right? Yes. Right on. Other than that solenoid is stuck. I don't know why. So maybe a starter hunting, but cool, cool. Well, that is great. And seeing how it's only nine o'clock, I still have like lots of time. Um, everything looks good. I don't know why that valve looks bad or something like the seat or something. Oh, it's cause it's not going all the way down yet. So that one probably still needs a little bit of massage and we're gonna work on that one a little bit. Just finesse it up and down a little bit till she wants to do uh, her own thing there. Uh, it seems like the last bit of the top. Might run it a little more. Just let it do its thing. Give it a little rotate every now and then. Uh, yeah, other than that, I'm gonna clean the head up. And then uh, I could tell somebody, you know, after the whole fact, I was staring at this tonight, and you could tell it looks like somebody's been cleaning this or something. So this head, you know, like I assumed, somebody had taken the head off because there's like no carbon in there or nothing. Those are usually all gummed up, I would imagine. So I'm going to clean those up. This gasket is just copper. Or is it? I don't know. I'm going to do the not the right thing. I'm going to clean that up and because uh, it might have to come off again and I'm going to find my where is it? my rebuild in a can here <laughs> there we go we'll spray a little bit of that on there so it'll be good as new at least to see if it runs right before you put, before you spend money at it, you may as well see if she runs. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna free up that one valve, and then I'm gonna clean this head, or clean the block. The head's pretty clean, but I'm gonna clean it quick. I'll give the gasket a quick clean. I'll give it a quick spray. We'll stick everything together, and uh, I'm not sure where I'm gonna go from there. I guess I'll check the points. Uh, well, I'll put the head on. We'll see if we got any compression. That'd be a big one. Let's start with that. And then uh, the fact you're going up and down is kind of a win, so. She's gonna be fine. She's gonna work. It's turning over. That is half the battle. Okay, let's clean this stuff.
So I got the head on, it's bolted down. Uh, the right thing to do would be put a new head gasket on, but being that we don't know if this motor's any good, I don't see the point throwing money at it at this point. So uh, I just copper sprayed it, put it on. To change the head's like super, super easy. It'll be just a matter of whatever, undoing the head bolts, dropping your gasket on. No big deal. Uh, the right thing to do would have been to do a compression test to see what's going on. But I bypassed that disappointment right away and just right away put the spark plugs in. <laughs> now, I'm, uh, yeah, there's just been a lot of monkey around. So I opened up the distributor. Looks like somebody may have done some points or something's happened at one time. I kind of zoom you in there. It tried to. Um, I'll try to get you right in there anyways. Hold on a sec. Okay, there we go. So it looks like somebody's taped this up and for some reason the condenser don't get where it's supposed to go. So I think and this thing was put in backwards, it needs to go around. So the wire and the condenser should be on this little doodad there. So we gotta do that. For sure, we're gonna have to file the points. Yep, they look super dirty. Um, so anyways, I'm gonna unscrew this. I'm gonna turn this around, get this thing up over here, get this all bolted together. This has been, I guess the wire was bare or burnt or something happened at some point, but for right now, it'll be fine, just to test. And, uh, yeah, then we're gonna do that, crank it over, see if we got some spark there. If we do, mint, then uh, we move on to seeing if she'll fire up. Mint, mint, look at that. Awesome. Okie dokie. Well, that's great. So now, man, it's like a brand new cap and rotor. There's so much weirdness to this car. It's awesome. Somebody tried to fix her up. I think that's what was happening. Okay, so let me move you into position for the possibility of a first start. <laughs> Okie doke, so we know we have oil. We got a whole lot of gas. We got a starter that sticks. So we got a lot of things going for us here. So I'll hold this here. I'm not sure what that noise is. I'm not going to be alarmed. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. Okay, so we know our head gasket sucks already. Mid. 
but at least I can order one. Wow, that thing actually ran really good. So it was making a noise. That was like on the other side. And why was it running so long? That's great. I think it's just the exhaust is all bunk. Oh, that's great. We gotta do it one more time, right? Heck yeah. Okie doke. So we know we have oil. We got a whole lot of gas. We got a starter that sticks. So we got a lot of things going for us here. So I'll hold this here. I'm not sure what that noise is. I'm not gonna be alarmed. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. Okay, so we know our head gasket sucks already, mid. But at least I can order one. Wow, that thing actually ran really good. So it was making a noise. That was like on the other side. And why was it running so long? That's great. I think it's just the exhaust is all bunk. Oh, that's great. We gotta do it one more time, right? Heck yeah. We either gotta start it or wreck something. <laughs> oh, there's so much oil getting burnt out of there, it's awesome. I figured a way to turn, oh, the choke was on, that's why. There's a lot of weirdness going on. Okay. It is trying to burn a whole lot of gook out of there. Wow, eh? She just loved that. That was great. Okay. One more time. It is trying to burn a whole lot of gook out of there. Wow, eh? She just loved that. That was great. Okay, one more time. Well, that one wasn't as much fun. <laughs> she went on runaway. Look at that stuff. Come on, baby. Here, where are we? Closed. She closed. Okay. We can try it again. We can try it again. Man, it runs good though. Holy Dinah. Isn't that great? I dig it. Yeah, you just got too much gas in there. So I'll put some more in just because. my starter. I bet ya. Dang you. Wrecking my fun. That is awesome. Well, we can pull that off for now. That is a win. Oh, that is awesome. Look at that though, eh? <whistles> Smoky. So, I've come to the conclusion the starter's junk. Well, it works, but it doesn't work. That's okay. She fires, she runs. I have no idea if she's got oil pressure. You can see, let me get my light. I'll show you how my, uh, my gasket fix didn't work. See, right there. She's kind of spoozing out there. Everything else actually seemed pretty good. So it might've worked. Uh, but it runs. 
So my plan now <laughs> is tomorrow I'm going to go see if any of my junk cars, I'm hoping the six, the starters off of the overhead valve motors are the same. That'd be cool. I don't know if I want to throw money at that one. So, oh yeah, this is mint. That is mint. Yeah, I could tell last time it sounded like it was coming there and I seen a few sparks. So I think that starter's like staying engaged. Oh, mint. All right. Well, that's successful. From stuck. So what did it take? I think I brought it in. Oh, I don't remember now. I think it's three days. Three days I had it pickling. And it wasn't even stuck bad. Oh, that's awesome. Well, we got to fit a starter. Now we got to do some brakes. We got to take this thing for a boot. She's good to go. I gotta find a more, whatever it is, a transmission mount. Oh, it's so cool. All right. Neat, so I've been digging around. I knew the rad was in here. I didn't remember what else was all in here. But there's a few bits, spare voltage regulator. Um, I went for a walk outside. I had a parts Pontiac car that I've cut some chunks of the roof out of and I uh, popped the hood and lo and behold we got the same motor in there. So tomorrow uh, after work I'm going to go back there with the tractor. I'm going to get the starter out of it and it's a 6 volt. I'll just kind of use the 12 volt for now. I just won't turn anything on in the car that don't need to be on. And uh, But it had the coil mount and stuff so that's missing from here. So that's cool. I'm going to put that on. It does have a heater stuff too. If it's any good or not, I don't know, but it does have it. Uh, but cool. So tomorrow we're going to get that in so I can get it running longer than what it is right now. So I can get an eye on the oil pressure, stuff like that. See if everything's good. Oh, and before I get asked, people are going to ask how I unlocked it. And I really... I can't say that this concoction works or not. Well, I guess it did, but anyways, I was using this power lube. I have no idea where you get it. I don't know if this really did it though, because it seems like it's just a an off-brand uh, WD-40. Anyways, I was using this, and then I was using some WD-40. So I had cleaned the cylinder out. I had soaked it in this for, I think, like that one, it sat for a day or two, and it might have been another day and a half or so I had this in there and then last night I was like screw it I don't know I was doing something I think I found some brake fluid and I just for the hell of it threw some brake fluid in the cylinder <laughs> I cannot say whether that's what did it or anything I have no idea but that's the combo of the junk that I put in there and uh, yeah ta-da cool anyways till tomorrow okie doke so here's the old bird that I was looking at last night. I'm guessing she's newer than the one I got. The grill's different there. But... Uh, if I can get under the hood... Oh, dang it. Really? You doing that to me? Dang it. Okay. I guess somehow I slammed the hood last night and I had to figure out how to open it. <laughs> but anyways, that is what I'm looking for. The glorious starter. I'm going to grab the coil. Well, I don't need the coil. Coil is 6 volt, but I'm going to grab the bracket. And it's got a cherry battery box, so I'll probably take that too. Because it's already disconnected. Looks like there was a start to getting the cables out, so... I'm going to pop those out, get that upper bolt out, and come here with the track door and uh, get that bottom starter bolt out. And then maybe try to pull one of those motor mounts because I need one of those as well. So anyways, let's go get the tractor.
<clears throat> Haven't had a lot of wins, but we did get the starter out. These mounts are like both broken on this, so I'm actually questioning whether they're supposed to be fastened or the vehicle just rests on it. I'm not sure at this point. So starter's out, or picked it up. I'm just gonna do the super quick switcheroo, see if that works. Yeah, these things are so weird. Like this one's sitting right, this one's like nowhere in the vicinity. I don't know, I guess they wobble like that, I don't know. I would imagine that's supposed to be glued on, but what do I know? Okay, I'm gonna switch this quick and then I will visit you back up. Okay, starter's fixed. I uh, disconnected the fuel line, ran it into there. It's gonna love it because that's chainsaw mix, so. <laughs> uh, find our little squirt can. Give her a little squirt. I don't think that choke needs to be on, but she'll probably wanna be on. Okay, let's give her a go. Ignition. Mm -hmm. Still not pulling fuel yet. Maybe it won't. Maybe it's just gummed up or the pump's bad. I don't know. We'll find out. A bit of a noisy lifter, but that's just to be expected, eh? Mm, I'm not sure. Doesn't sound like a knock. Definitely sounds like lifters. Definitely. Well, I guess we'll dig into that. She's a runner. She starts good. I like it. Um, I'll have to look into, oh yeah, did you hear that? That's definitely that stuck lifter. There's two of them, sounds like. Here the two thunks. I think we get her warm, she'll uh, she'll soften up. She'll get there. It's got good oil pressure because it's at 45 pounds or whatever. When I look quick, uh, yeah. Well, that's pretty awesome. So I guess I'm gonna work on this one a little bit until the kid gets his truck out. Anyways, um, I think what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna do work on the brakes and stuff. Let's try to get her stopping and then we'll come back to the motor and uh, I think it has to run a little bit. I think I'm just going to let those valves like knock away for a little while. Hopefully they'll actually loosen themselves up. But we got to look at the fuel system so it'll pull a bit of fuel even if it's out of the jug for now. Uh, I think the goal is, well I want to be able to drive this thing out of the shop. Drive it in, drive it out. I don't know how much work I'm going to do to it. But for now, I know I'm going to do brakes. That'll be the next video. I'm going to get the brakes going. Probably work on the motor some more. Hopefully, we're driving it around next video. We'll see. But, yeah, this video is dragging on a little bit. But, hey. A couple days ago, I think it was last weekend, I brought this thing in and she was stuck. And now, yeah. I mean, a little noisy right now, but, hey. It is running. So, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, well, hey. I think that's where I'm going to leave this one then. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. We'll uh, catch you on the next one. Later, guys.